Good Thursday morning, everyone. It is the last trading session of August, and we are here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets. But first, Jim, it was an important night last night for the Ski Daddy Skis. One of the most important <laughs> nights of the year, obviously, and this is my fantasy team in the Slump of Dickel League, which is made up mostly of mad money people. Uh, I drafted in the fifth hole. I was able to snare OBJ. Uh, why did I want him? Because I'm tired of him beating me, and also because I need an insurance policy against the Eagles. In this way, I feel like he's the guy who just destroyed me more than any other player. I wanted to neutralize him. I might even just bench him. I just didn't want to play him. And then I was able to get Brandon Cooks, but he fell right into my lap after Edelman, which is incredible. And then I like to go with rookie running backs. I've got Mixon, who I think is going to end the bust the whole running back by committee thing. And, and, uh, and McCaffrey, who I, I, I just think could have more touches than any other player in the NFL. Uh, Viking D fell right to me. I was rather amazed with that. John Hansen from Fantasy Guru, you must get his service. He blessed my team, which I posted on Twitter almost immediately. Matthew Burry, one of my idols, said he loved my wide receiver core. He felt my running backs were suspect. Well, and you also posted a selfie in your war room. <laughs> yeah, I, had, I, was wearing, I was wearing my Dawkins jersey, a signed Dawkins jersey. And, Dawkins has always been an inspiration to me. It was a Westbrook versus a Dawkins, but I wanted an actual game jersey, and Brian didn't, uh, Westbrook did not, I don't have a game jersey from him. Last year I wore, wore my Wentz jersey. He was the only person who had a Wentz jersey. Uh, my, like I said, my whole team is posted, and those who have criticized me, remember, two-team Super Bowl winner. Two-time, two-time, right two-time. Some people say Dynasty. Dynasty is back. Yeah. All right, Jim Kramer, let's move on to some, well, more somber news at Wells Fargo. What a mess. More yeah. fake accounts potentially discovered. Yeah, I mean, I, I, John Stump came on the show and uh, made money and pretty much assured me that there really wasn't anything left, that they had done a thorough investigation. And uh, it looks like a whitewash to me. It, it, now, whoever did that investigation, I want to know their names. Uh, I want to know why we need this board. This board seems to be... Uh, easily replaceable by people perhaps from outside. I want to know why there isn't a special master being assigned the way that Bristol Myers had a special master when Bristol Myers was doing things we should. I urge the government to appoint a special master to Wells Fargo. That's exactly what they do. Right today, there should be a special master running that. You know, the uh, U.S. attorney for uh, in California, in Northern California, they should put in a special master. This should not be allowed. They need someone from the outside on that bank. My advice is special master. Look at the situations that have had to have special masters. They're almost always involved in this kind of chicanery. So will we see Wells Fargo executives in handcuffs at some point? No, nothing will happen at all. My special master won't be listened to. This is America. In America, that doesn't happen. Now, um, in other countries, but no, no one handcuffs, no. Maybe uh, big bonuses. You know, they probably get some good bonuses, right? I mean, look at the, all that account opening. Right, a lot of money made, in quotes. Right, <laughs> well, you know, the cross-sell was incredible. Uh, Warren Buffett didn't seem to mind. I mean, yes. uh, it's business as usual at Wells. Uh, maybe I'll do more business with them, so it's like everybody else. Or maybe I'll open an account with them today. Why not? I've done some good mortgage work with them. You know, show them some support I mean, for their uh, incredible uh, cross-selling. They clearly love opening accounts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, obviously they had some very th thorough investigators there. Right? No doubt, uh, Mo Larry and Curly, uh, maybe maybe Joe. I don't know. I've always felt that Joe did it was second rate uh, stooge, but maybe he was brought in for because they were shorthanded in the investigation. But not Paul Weiss. <laughs> no, not uh, Ted Wells. Uh, an inflate gate investigation, which was obviously done right. in a far more serious way, had much bigger consequences. Uh, just incredible. All right, Jim, we'll move on to. It is America. Nothing will happen. I want to make sure everyone understands that. Elizabeth Warren will call for further investigations. No one will listen to her because she's in the minority, and nothing will listen to me. Read my lips. Nothing will happen. All right, we'll keep watching how it plays yeah. out. Jim, let's move on to Costco posting some nice comparable store sales. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, uh, Costco prices are still underneath what Amazon is going to do, and that's because Costco also has a card. They also like like Amazon Prime. Uh, Costco delivering incredible numbers. They continue to deliver incredible numbers. Wait till they really gear up on uh, their online. I happen to think Costco is a terrific company, and the uh, multiple got too compressed. Hmm. All right, another retail name, Five Below, beating on both the top and bottom lines. Yeah, what did but, you yeah, think? People weren't excited about it, and I think a lot of that is because people feel that the pastiche of how they made it is from fads. They talk about how fads bring people into the store. I think it was actually a much more broad 
assemblage of uh, SKUs that did well, so I'm not against five below, but it does have a 29 multiple, which is high. Well, those fads were, I, I think, fidget spinners. Are you yeah, bullish on spinners. fidget spinners? No, I'm a seller of those. <laughs> You're a seller of those. All right, Jim, Warner's reporting that GE may be cutting jobs soon. It's amazing, because Flannery obviously was going to wait for the big November right. uh, uh, order, uh, November conference. He's not wasting any time. Uh, what does that tell you? It tells you that uh, there's so much fat there that you can just come at it with a, uh, a, literally with a, maybe the kind of a plastic knife and still come up with fat. Jeez. And, and you think uh, Tryon should be on the board, Nelson Peltz? Yeah, why not? Let's put uh, Ed Garden on the board. I mean, uh, someone from the outside, this GE board seems very insular to me. Hmm. All right, Jim, moving on. Next week, the new Uber CEO starts. Do you have any advice for him? I know you've okay. interviewed him. My advice is just keep doing what you're doing in Expedia. He was fantastic. He is fantastic. He's a great guy, too. All right, He's hopefully really he'll be on your show soon. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, his purchase at home away and what he did with that was remarkable. And people kept writing him off and saying the price line's good. I like Priceline, but I like Expedia more. All right, another stock you like, FMC Corp, upgraded by Bank of America. Yeah, the old food machinery company. This is because it's a double whammy. They went from being sell to buy, and that's because they're going to get they're getting DuPont's, a very good part of DuPont's ag business. And remember, it's lithium batteries. If you listen to the analog devices call, you know the country, the world, they want electri electrified cars, and that means lithium batteries. Uh, well, you talked about analog devices in your real money column. You said the quarter yeah. was brilliant. Yeah, hey, but look, MP, you should read my column. Uh, and the reason why I say you should read my column is because you'll see the mosaic of what's driving uh, industrial America and technology right now and why the tech stocks aren't done. It's not just FANG anymore. Mm. It's a fantastic column, realmoney.com. And Jim, I've been going through some of the blogs and I think the pumpkin spice latte starts tomorrow at Starbucks. That's always been good. <laughs> uh, the triple venti cappuccino was skim wet. I've got my, um, my Starbucks app and now my Starbucks does not have the ability to be able to order in advance. Uh, if Starbucks cracks that code and gets the uh, comp stores back to four or five, I think the stock can go up. Now, I, I was critical of the company at 6364, shareholder in McChapel Trust, uh, and I reserve the right to be critical when I think a stock is about to drop 10 points. Well, and just on the pumpkin spice latte, I did some research, 14 grams of protein, who knew? I think it's a little <laughs> fattening. I'm, yeah, look, I, I'm trying to lose some weight. Uh, I felt that I put some on this summer. No. Uh, and I make my sauce. I will be saucing this weekend, <laughs> a tomato sauce this weekend, from the, until the cows come home. Uh, my pickles were a little too sweet. I might make another round. Another round of pickles. We'll look forward. For, yeah, forward and, don't, and I'll, I'll have some more pictures of my dog Nvidia. Nvidia. And I will show you how he really does answer to Nvidia. I think I will do. A, I will say Nvidia, come here. Nvidia, come here. One of the things I'm watching is Vago Broadcom now going up. I wonder whether maybe they're involved with the Western Digital. I, you know, I was just huh. positing things. Uh, because this Toshiba deal, they said there's three bidders. I thought it was only Western Digital. We saw the Western Digital a really big, big profit, but I'm gearing on that, uh, and I'm still wondering exactly who is uh, was doing that investigation at Wells. 67% more bogus. Uh, it, it's extraordinary. But remember, oh, what will happen? Bogus and bonus. It's just one letter at G and N. I predict bonuses for Wells Fargo. Not, not uh, anything. Not slap on the wrist, but wrist, but bonuses, because this is America. Maybe a congressional hearing too. No, no, that would require <laughs> too much uh, work. Yeah, it would require uh, Elizabeth Warren having one more person besides Elizabeth Warren in this. Oh, Bernie Sanders. I, no, nothing happens because it's America. It's America. I mean, we have to understand that. That's you know, I mean, it's good and bad. All right, you heard it right here, everyone. Jim Kramer, we'll Thank leave you. it there. Thank you so Very much, good. it's always really appreciated. For more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.